Welcome to a special Halloween episode of the Nitpicky Nerds. We're looking at the top 10 spookiest commanders. They definitely Ooh. didn't lie. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm your host, Joe Scaries. And I'm your host, Boozy, and that makes us the Night Pumpkin Nerds. And we're here with not only puns, but a top 10 scariest commanders. So if you like that, join the Discord, because it's free. Do Patreon, because it's not free. And then do free stuff in the Discord. So, for this list, th- nothing is serious. This is all about having fun in the spirit of Halloween. And we're talking about just creepy, spooky arts. and On commanders. On commanders, yeah. So they have to be a commander. And they have to be spoopy. They have to be. Number 10. Coming in number 10. Grim Grim, Corpseborn. He's a stitched together monstrosity. Basically Frankenstein, right? I guess I didn't even think about it, but is that what they were going for? Yeah, he's a Frank- He's basically Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, and he's got like a, a sickle on his hand, and I just picture him like chopping people's heads off. Ugh. Like this card just looks brutal. It looks like he would sprint at you. No, I imagine he he's a... Like a Michael Myers? He's a, yeah, he moves very slow, but he's very imposing. You'll never get to your car and start it. And everything mm-hmm. is locked whenever you try and get away from him. You have no service. Your keys are on the ground always. Oh, it's so crappy. when you, Michael Myers, just he, he's like a master of bad luck. I saw uh, there was some funny short, like a short skit uh, that was like a custom, like a fan-made film. Not a fan-made film, but like a student film type thing. And it was okay. this guy running from this horror movie monster. And he gets to his car and he fumbles with his keys and he drops them. And then he he drops them standing next to the car engine door. The story's worth it. And then he goes to check under the car and they're all the way in the middle of the car. He's like, ah. So he like gets them out and then he gets in his car and he goes to start, but he doesn't have the key. He's like looking for the keys and then he pulls down the visor and they fall down. And he's like, oh. And then he goes to start the car and then he dies because oh. the monster's already in the car. And then he dies. <laughs> He took too long. Uh, that's what that's what Grim Grim makes me think of. Um, okay. on, but on Innistrad. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no cars in Innistrad, so whatever. <laughs> there's vehicles. There's the Geist Catcher's rig. It's know. not a vehicle, but it's like a chariot thing. Okay. Moving next, on. Yeah, next we have Hogak. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is like a giant monster made out of corpses. And like maggots Ugh. and tombstones. It's Risen so... Necropolis is what he is. So it's Ugh. like the whole grave just... Bleh. It's really gross looking. I mean, he's just... Like, imagine being... Like, he looks like he could eat you. Imagine being eaten by a bunch of dead stuff. Not really eaten. Like, he doesn't, like, bite you. He, like, absorbs you. That's even worse. Like, if you just touch him, you just get, like, pulled in. Yeah, imagine, like, having your arm pulled in as you yank away. Ugh. Imagine touching a maggot at all. Uh, Gross. I mean, I've touched a maggot before, like, once or twice. What? You never, like... You never touched... No, I have not never touched a maggot. I mean, just an accident. I've seen them. Maggots actually move really fast. Like, they're really fast. I remember. Well, I guess we're telling spooky stories. We have to have a spooky story for all of them, and we didn't have we didn't script a single one. If you want to see the script, it's like twenty words. It's just all ten of the names. So uh, the first, uh, I didn't like banana peppers that much, and my my aunt. Oh no! Made stuffed banana peppers. Oh no! Yeah, I know it's real gross. Uh, it's spooky story time. Uh, but like after we, it wasn't maggots, but we we. My parents like, you try it. I was like 11, 12. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. And we like cut it up and like there was a little, there was a couple of bugs just crawling on the plate. Oh, they were tiny at least. That does not matter. And I was just like, yep. I'm not, and, and I never ate banana peppers again. <laughs> Jesus, that is brutal. It was real gross. <laughs> Maybe we'll alternate stories even though, once again, have nothing planned. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight, Elksnorn, <laughs> Grand Cenobite. This is less of a movie monster scary like the last two and more of a imposing like alien force scary like i have no idea what this thing is the i think what makes her so scary she also comes off as like a bride like she's so white well then she's like super religious too so there's like that element yeah that's where i get like i get a, i get a bride feel like because her head look kind of looks like a veil type thing i get like a pope vibe like it's like the pope hat like she's okay. a religious figure it's creepy it's creepy either way the art looks like really silent which also makes me ooh. I think all art is silent. Mostly. No, but it looks like that scene is very silent. Like she's just there and it's like, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't usually hear too much when I look at art. I don't think that that what I just said was that crazy. I think you're just an ignoramus. I don't have a story. No, no. You're supposed to have a story here. I like, I literally don't know. Um, whew. I mean, I think I used to listen to like spooky cassette tapes. We had like the spooky. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Start <laughs> stalling. <laughs> 
I'm not stalling. There was one of the monkey's paw, and it was like a it was like a stupid cassette, and I would listen to it, and during the the Halloween holidays, and it was about this guy and his son died in a workplace accident. I don't know if there's like one monkey paw story. There's a bunch of them, right? The monkey paws is like it's a trope. Yeah, yeah, it's like the you wish it, but then it doesn't come true in the way you want. He wished his son back to life, and then his son came back as a zombie. And he was like, I wish my son was dead. And he had to wish that his son was dead. And I was like 12. Wow, that's a great story. It was not a good story. The acting was horrible. Uh, next, we have Xenagos. Xenagos is a big, giant, imposing god. And he just, this one to me, like kind of like I was trying, like, he just looks like you would never mess with him. It's the like, scale's good. And like, we know he's a bad guy. Like, he's a horrible guy. Like, he killed his own mother. Like, I would, I would this like, is one of, this is more of the more realistic ones to be afraid of, I think. Like, obviously, a zombie is scary and an alien is scary. But this is, like, this is a god of the world you live in. He's 100% real, and he 100% can mess with you at any moment. Yeah. he's and you, you, We know he's 100% a jerk. Yeah. He's he's literally, he was, he became a god to, like, spite the gods, right? Or kill them or something. Uh, yeah. I mean, planeswalkers are literally more powerful than gods. Yeah. That's why, because he felt, when he was a planeswalker, he's like, oh, I'm just better than them. And he felt, like, cheated. Yeah, because they act like they're the best thing around. Yeah, they and like literally, he was more powerful than. Well, him. it's your turn for a spooky story now. I uh, put you on the back on the hot seat. Well, I mean, I was just when I was a kid, I had, I was so scared of everything, like all the time. Okay. Like wow, I guess what a great story. You're scared of everything always. No, well, but I, I wasn't going like I remember like very specifically being on Halloween, like. The Michael Myers theme playing, like, it's, you know, they play, like, boop, 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 boop. But, you know, they play, like, loops of, like, the Halloween song. So, like, sometimes they're, like, like... in the front yard? Sometimes they're, like, do the monster mash. But then when that one was on, it's, like, oh, no. You know, I scared of the monster mash? No, no, I wasn't scared of the monster mash. I was scared of the Michael Myers theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, the other ones are fine. It was, like, oh, okay, I can deal with, oh, the monster mash is playing, whatever. But when that one always spooked me out, that specific song. That song is really good. It just makes you feel like someone's behind you. So like at all times. That oh, song's really good. So all right. Spooky. Number six is the unspeakable. The new art. Not the one from Kamigawa with a mustache where we're going to put a Mario head on right here and he'd go, It's a me. He does. Yeah, he looks like he just looks like he has a mustache. That... Right. But the actual good art is how I think the one above him is too. He's he's obscure and you're like, What is that? Like that is coming from that's creepy. Like that thing can fly, so I picture that thing like swooping from the the like misty waterfall area. I don't know. But I think the mustache made him never be scary to me. That's fair. Maybe the first art was so bad that it ruined it. it it's not a mouth, it's a mustache. He just looks like he just looks like he has a mustache. He looks like he's a giant mustache. He's like he like he literally looks like an Italian guy with wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh my spooky story, now that I I think I have another one queued up even after this now, is the movie I was most scared of as a kid, or like as a tween area, um, that I went back and watched and like, holy crap, this movie sucks, is Alien vs. Predator Two. The second one. I was scared of the idea of the aliens like invading your town and just killing everybody and you don't even know until there's so many of them because, I mean, oh, a couple people died. Like, how do you know it's aliens? Like, the 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 movie written on paper is scary to me and then you watch the movie and you're just like, oh. I never saw that movie. Yeah. Not that so much. <laughs> that, yeah, that's fair. They Not- nuke the city at the end. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh. Pro- spoiler? Jeez. Yeah, spoiler for a movie like 10 years ago. That movie's only 10 years old? Only the first one's older. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. That movie, that, that, only ten years old. That, that movie seems older to me. In my because it's bad. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> next, next we have Progenitus. Be easy to describe as scary because it's scary to him. This art is so good. It is the perfect way to represent this thing because there's almost no way to show it up close that would do it justice. It's this background force and it's like a storm and it's like a dark foggy night. And you're just like, like if picture like a lightning flash and you just see that and you're like, what? What is that? That's what, kind of what it looks like too. It looks like it's just it's shadowy in the background, and it's it's not even the it is the focus of the art, but it's at the same time not focused in the art. Well, that's one of the common things with horror is um, you don't show the monster either at all sometimes or like hardly at all, and that makes it way scarier. That's why the Progenitus Xbox promo that shows it with a goofy, stupid worm face makes it look awful, and I'm not scared of that at all. This is the way to do it. Yeah, like they barely showed Jaws all in the first Jaws. That's yeah, it's the same concept. Where and then oh, how was Jaws six? How how was that movie? Mm, heard it was a masterpiece. <laughs> the, the shark was probably the main character. <laughs> He's like going to work. All right, next we have Zer, the Enchanter, the new art, not the goofy footman. 
I think we've been the one that was a judge promo and now is going to be a pro uh, the art for Commander Legends. I love this art. He is so he's like he's I think floating is very creepy. Yes. And he just has like a creepy glow in his eyes. He just looks like he's gonna kill you. He almost looks like a zombie, and I can just picture him hovering towards you slowly, like a Michael Myers, but hovering, and you're like, Ugh. Ugh. he's got a necropotence. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. He's so spooky, and like I don't even know any of his story at all. Like actually, I don't know if he has much of any. Whoa, honestly. goofy foot man! All right, my my scary story for this oh, one. It's my turn. What? I you did progenitus. I we never we skipped the scary story. Oh, that's what it is. So Back you could do your progenitus story. Well, the, <laughs> progenitus. Progenitus spooky story. Oh, uh, the thing I just remember. So the thing I was scared of the most as a kid was uh was child's boy Chucky. Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Uh, I think my parents like had me watch and like put the blanket and like I would put the blanket over my head when I was like I was young. I don't remember how young. It, probably not double digits. It's a scary concept that it's um like an inanimate object coming to life when you don't know and you, you it's there. You can't and it's not like you can throw it out or I was destroy always it. scared of Spencer's because they always had a one of the Chucky dolls like hanging up there and I was just like, Oh, I hated going to what was it? Party City, because it was so spooky in there. It's so scary in Party uh, City. Uh, Can't believe it. I also remember my dad calling me in the room, be like, what movie is this? And I just, like, I nothing familiar, nothing familiar. And then uh, Chucky's laying at the bottom of the stairs. Like, ah, no. I, I ran out of the room. <laughs> I guess my scary story for Zer is also an inanimate object, and I prepared it before you said Chucky. My dad had a punching bag downstairs, and it was one of the, like, I think it was called Bob. Um, maybe we'll put, put an image. Well, I'm forcing Joe to put an image right here. I don't know what that is. It's just you literally search like karate punching bag guy, and it's just every single one. It's just a guy with a he looks like this grumpy face, and he's got no arms, and he's got no legs, and it's just a, a, a cylindrical torso up to a real like upper body, and then his head. Okay. And me and my brother always thought it was haunted because when you went in the basement, it felt like someone was watching you, which I later learned is from like there's an electrical point. The convergence in the in the ceiling somewhere, like with wires and stuff, that makes it feel like someone's watching you. What? Yeah. Uh, so anyway, learn that. But I, we thought it was haunted because you always feel like someone's watching you. We we had times where like, oh, we could have sworn he turned a little bit, or like if you're in the basement, like, oh, he got angrier, like his face got angrier, and then all my friends were scared of it too. So that just made it worse for me. And I I had a bunch of nightmares of that thing, uh, like I'm sitting on the couch in the living room and that thing's in the basement. And then I just see its head poke out from from on the stairs. I'm like, it scares me. It like I still get goosebumps from it. Oh, really? Yeah. I just figured out my my next one too. This is the <laughs> ultimate one. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next, we have Arasta, oh the God. Spider Lady. Endless Web. No, the Spider Lady. It's the Spider. That's way less scary. <laughs> well, she's just okay. Well, we're gonna go for, to the alternate art for this one because the original art is spooky, but this one's super spooky. It's, oh. It's just nasty. It's just like, one, spiders are one of the most common fears among humans already. True. And then it's just like giant and big. It reminds me of Sheba, right? Is that her name? I don't know. The spider from Lord of the Rings? I definitely don't know. I never watched those movies. Ah, I can't remember the name. Yeah, but this has like a, this is the gross out factor. If you look closely at this art, she's got gross human-like features, which I already don't like on a spider. She's got a giant egg sack with legs coming out of the eggs like they're ready to come off Ugh, that is really spooky. yeah it's just completely nasty this is your story oh i want a story um i had something spookiness what you say oh i my my um grandparents had a mask in their closet uh and they called it the monster and they would always use it to scare us when we were real young really wow yeah they did it all the time nice nice parents and like, yeah, they did things like uh, if we were acting bad, they would like pound on the ceiling with a broom to like and say it was the monster. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they they ter- psychological torture. They ter- they terrorize us with the thing. Uh, but it was only when we were really bad and we were really petrified. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, to be fair, it is, and I know this is gonna sound wrong, but it is true. It is positive reinforcement, which does help, which is known to work well. You mean negative reinforcement? No, it's positive reinforcement. It's an action. When someone does an action, something happens. What's negative reinforcement? It's a whole different thing, and I can't think of it right now. I okay. just know it's not. I know it's. It sounds like it's. It's not. It is positive reinforcement. Huh. <laughs> well, moving on. Number two. I don't know if we've missed the numbers on half of these, but you can figure it out. Nah. Emrakul, the promised end. Thirteen mana for a thirteen thirteen. Just occurred to me that I wanted to read Grimgrin, 
So I'm going to just read the mana cost and power toughness of Emrakul. Why? This is an eldritch, horror, unstoppable alien force that's going to destroy the entire planet, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, it's 13-13s also. It's all 13s intentionally because 13 is considered unlucky. I didn't say it wasn't. I didn't say anything about well, the 13s. I, was, I just said I read those for no reason. Well, I was throwing it out because that is something. It's a nice trope on Innistrad. Everything's unlucky. Yeah, everything. I mean, you know, Into the Maw of Hell deals 13 damage for no reason. Tree of Redemption, 13 toughness. Blast. Triskaidekaphobia. Blasphemous Act. Blasphemous Act, yeah. yeah. Doesn't Tree of Redemption have... It does have 13? And Tree of Perdition. I didn't even think about that one. Wow. Wow. Doesn't, is, e- doesn't even know. This is an... It's very Eldraine horror-esque. Eldritch. Eldritch. Eldraine is a plane with Oko on it. Oko is not scary. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> He's scary sexy. All right, I guess for my story, the scariest video... The vi- so yeah, the video I've watched that has scared me the most, not accounting for how old I was because I was young. <laughs> I can tell you what to search because it's still on the internet. I think it's narrated by, I want to say Al- Alec Baldwin. If you have the Ringo Star version, just turn it off. Oh my God. Yeah. I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh yeah. It's, uh, Thomas the Train. There's an episode that they should not have released because it is scarring. Is Rusty in the Boulder. And I don't know if, if we can even show the Boulder here because it's psychologically damaging. <laughs> that... I have so I've had so many nightmares of that thing. I had a nightmare where it was the moon and I was trying to run away from it. But how do you even do that? I don't know what I was doing in that one. I think I could drive in that dream. It still didn't work because I had dreams that it was rolling after me. That thing, I don't know what it is. The music, maybe it was Sir Topham Hat. His little monologue at Sir the end. Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. But that scared the crap out of me. Oh man. Oh man. I'll get goosebumps if I think about it for too long. But are you ready for number one? The scariest commander in all of Commander. Oh, all of Commander. What can is you, it? Can you say it without laughing? No. Yours have to say it. Oh, I could totally say it without laughing. Yargle, baby. He's come to Burgle. Yes. Yargle is number one on this list. Do, do we need an explanation? It's a frog. It's a spirit. The lack of text is so intimidating on it. It's so big. The lore. I mean, he, there's a demon. There's a demon and a frog. That's it. That's <laughs> super creepy. Nine power. <laughs> I mean, if you give it infect, that's scary in the game. Yeah. Tainted the, strike. Tainted strike. GG. One shot, baby. Definitely scarier than Emrakul <laughs> or the spider hatchery lady or the <laughs> world hydra. Definitely scarier than all those. Yeah. Way scarier. I mean, and he's funny. And well, he's, but only in a scary way. He's like one of those killer clowns that makes jokes and he like makes up he's like time, time to get murdered with a joke and then he kills him. Uh, yeah, I mean, he also got his cards that he got on, what's it called? Yargle Day or something? Yargle Day, the secret layer one. Those are amazing. Oh, yeah, because it was 9-3. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yargle Day. Yeah, it was Yargle Day. It's, it was 9-3, Anger the Gods, Swords of the Publisher, Explore. I think it's one in each color. Opt. Yeah, Opt, and then... Uh, what are we missing? I don't know. Maybe we, there's not a black... black. There was a, maybe it's it, just, it was just him, maybe. It, maybe it was just Yargle. Okay, so the last story to round it out was yours. Oh, no. Uh... I mean, going back, it's just, I don't really, nothing, there's not really any scary stories nowadays, because I, except for the four. Oh, have you had any, have you had any, like, real scary, like, encounters lately, where you're, like, scared or fearful, or? No, I don't really have, like, I'm more reasonable now, so I'm usually not too scared or afraid. Well, no, I mean, like, I could tell a story that's, like, scary and real. Like, I was driving home from school, and college, I told you, and I was, like, driving down, like, a 45 50 ish zone and it's dark because like eight o'clock and there's just a dude walking across the street in a hoodie and i literally almost ran him over i had to swerve into i was gonna basically in my head i'm like all right i can't kill a person so i was gonna swerve and crash basically into a pole and try to hit slam the brakes so i swerve off and i get lucky and i hit the divot where it goes up on an incline into a parking lot so I don't like smash my tire or anything. And then I'm like, oh my God, okay, I didn't hit anything. And then I swerve around the dude and I hit another one. So I like no damage to my car at all, but almost ran over a dude. Yes. Yeah. See, I don't think I have any super spooky stories. Like he was like suicidal or something. Cause it wasn't just me. There was like heavy traffic and he was just walking like this, like oh, what creepy. A, what a douche. Yeah. What a scumbag. Um, I, mean, I don't know what his deal was. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, I was just petrified of everything. I was really scared. Like I... I slept with a nightlight through middle school, at least, if not further. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't have. I couldn't sleep in the dark. Yeah, we didn't even talk about our fears. We were just talking about spooky stuff, like our actual like phobias. I don't sleep in the dark now, but that's. I just put the TV on. Usually, I think it's just so. 
Well, I can't. When the TV's off, I feel really alone and I feel creeped out. So are I'm, you scared? More scared of being alone than in the dark? I think so. Is it scarier if you're alone in the dark? Yeah, definitely. Because if, if 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 usually on the weekends when Chad's not there, if I try and sleep without the TV on, it's really creepy. Hmm. Interesting. I've never really been scared of the dark. Um, I think it's like I'm not scared of heights, but I'm scared of falling, and I'm not scared of the dark. I'm scared of things that could be in the dark. I get the um, I get like the uh, like when I look over a ledge, I get like the I should step back. Feeling like is that, the, is that vertigo? Is that what that is? Like where I'm like, oh, they're literally just rambling about nonsense now. Oh well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the top ten commanders that are spooky, Yargle, scary, spooky. Yargle baby. Yargle's number one, taking it down, take, running a clinic on all these, you know, washed up has been scary cards. Yeah. Uh, so special shout outs to all of our patients. We love all as much as we can without making you uncomfortable. Yes, we had released this not on Halloween because we wanted to get the full spoiler reaction up to friday because that one overwhelming majority of the vote we did for our subscribers if you don't want to see that a don't watch it and b it's kind of your fault you should have rallied people and if you didn't vote and you don't want to see it then you kind of played yourself yeah we're gonna be doing some i mean it's all about do you care enough about our opinions individually from other people's because obviously we're not gonna this is not something we're not we don't have a spoiler card to give you yeah, unfortunately. Me personally, like I wouldn't have done one of these videos, but I care about what the fans want. So yeah. then we just left it up to a majority vote. Yeah, we'll see what they we'll see how this video does. This video does really well. Obviously, we'll talk about spoilers more because if you guys want to see spoilers, we'll talk about them. We meet the demand that is asked of us. Yeah, we are content creators. Yeah, we're linking these ten cards in the description. If you want to go check out the TCG player link or just read these cards because we didn't read any of them, you can do that and all on navigate screen. navigate where you want, buy whatever you want. We get a kickback on the order. We got merch you can check out. You know where that is. You can tip us, buymecoffee.com, classic shout out. And I wanted to say, if you like the best commander card from every set, I'm still doing that bracket thing. Every single day I'm posting uh, like a, a matchup. What do you call it? Matchup? matchup. Of two cards in the vault of the bracket. You get to vote. The winner moves on. So if you want to have influence on maybe the last card, we'll do something cool. We'll make a video about it. They're yeah. all interesting enough to make a video about. All right. Fair enough. All right. So. That's the whole video, and I don't think we need a tidbit about our life. You learned... There was like 25 tidbits. Yeah, you think you learned enough about our life today. I'm scared of bees. Oh, bees, he's petrified of bees. He, this is true True story. This is the we get tidbit. True story, bees once left my house because there was a big bee in the house. It was huge, and I regret nothing. He, 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 he there was a big bee, and he actually, he was at least going to stay at least another half an hour and left because it was a big B. Yeah, I'm like, I'm leaving soon, and <laughs> this is making it sooner. It was way funnier than that. Peace out, Tribe Scout.